Boom! What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see in front of me, Ethan and Andrew, I have a, uh, a very unnecessary amount of fragrances. I don't know how much or how many of you people watching this video know this about me, but very recently, as of like over winter break, I got into fragrances. They now know a lot about fragrances because of how many fragrances I own. Some of these are gifts, some of these I've purchased, and then some of these I've had since I'm a kid. So like you're looking at 18 fragrances and you're like, Trevor, that's an addiction, that's a problem, that's stupid. You're correct about all three, but it's like since I was born. I'm 20 years old, I only have 18 bottles. So like that's like a bottle every like 1.1 <laughs> years if we're doing math of the liberal arts here. So anyway, um, this is how this is gonna work. One take video, we're gonna be going through ranking all these one to 10 just based on just simply how they smell and assuming obviously we'll all interpret what time of year we think's best and at the end we'll crown the trevor wester collection champion also real quick before i get too deep into this i am doing a giveaway ah, giveaway so i'll be giving away one of these bottles of cologne i don't know which one yet but y'all have to like subscribe and comment down below be entered to the giveaway and a week from today whatever day this video drops i'll announce the winner in my next video so go win some free cologne but right off the bat, we're starting off strong with a Doug Wester special classic, Armani Code. Y'all like this one, right? Like in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to find out. Well, I guess that's valid. Um, I'm gonna, I don't wanna absolutely just blast people. Yeah, okay. That's a classic, it's a classic. I just got passed down to me through my dad and it's just a really good date night scent in my opinion. Really solid one. You can't go wrong with it. To be honest with you. What are y'all's thoughts? It's very versatile. I'd wear that. Yeah. But like you said, it's, on a date night. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, I don't think I could wear this in a classroom because it's very musty, like, very heavy for those people that have never smelled it. I'm giving it a nine. It's a very classic, classy scent. Nine as well for me. Nine? Okay, Andrew? I'm only gonna go seven. I can't go too high. Yet. Okay, okay, okay. Something can beat it. All right. Moving on, this Armani Code Profumo is discontinued. I, it, they no longer oh make it. This small, tiny bottle I have is worth a lot. And <laughs> honestly, some might say it's better than the original because this is like date night, but on three more levels of that. Like it is just very, gosh, man, it smells so, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, Ethan, what are your thoughts as Andrew's getting a gander in? Oh, that one's no. a little bit, that's a lot stronger than the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, like like it's like a no. special event type of thing. That's got a hint of rubbing like, alcohol. In rubbing it. alcohol? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm going to go an eight. I really like it. I like. Oh. You're going to see a trend. I like sweet fragrances. So the sweeter it is, the more I'm going to probably like it. Ethan, what I'm do you I'm going to go seven. Seven. Yeah. Andrew? I'm down to six. Six. Okay, not bad. It is discontinued though, so we, I gotta like really, really. You know what, dog? Give me five. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Rest in peace. That's so Rest in peace, buddy. Sorry, uh, Armani. Yeah. Third up, Burberry Hero. This was a total gift. I got it for getting a um, another fragrance. I just gotta spray these. It's totally different. Oh, oh, the atomizer on this is like <laughs> snake's tongue. Gosh. I don't know, but it's a free scent. So, and I've always wanted it, so it just so happens it fits. You're gonna love this one. Yeah, it's, gosh, that's good. I've never worn it before, so. Are we doing half points or just full points? We can do half, just solely half, yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going eight and a half. I really like that. Really? Yeah. When I said Andrew would like it, I said it sarcastically. Oh. But then everyone else sort of liked it. I'm that gonna give it a five. That wasn't terrible, no. Very average. I'll go six eight. and a half. It's just slightly worse than the Armani. Okay, 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 okay. Armani's okay. still the leader though, for sure. This, okay, next up we have Davidoff Cool Water. This is from like the 80s. This is the most OG throwback scent I have. It's definitely passed down to me. And I will preface with this. Um, it's a summertime scent. Whoa, cool water, summertime. It's a crazy revelation, but I really, I'm not gonna say much until we get everybody's, everybody's gander at it. Mm -mm. No? no, Ethan. What do you um, think? I don't know if this I fits. That's comparison to the last one. Can't be comparing all of them. Gotta need like a reference point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm gonna give it a four. A I was four. gonna go four. Yeah. Well, I give it a seven. Oh my god! I just love all of them. No, no so okay. <laughs> there, there are a reason why they're in my collection. I wouldn't just get colognes if they stink. Come on, guys. But I don't know. That's a so decent, very '80s throwback. But next up, Dior Sauvage. I'm sure everybody and their brother has seen it at some point in time. Or shout, heard of it. shout out to Cameron James, yeah. by the way. Cameron's trying to call me. Oh, the atomizer on this is great. Anywho. <laughs> Golly, man. It's Dior Sauvage for a reason. You wrote Dior Sausage, though. Yeah, it auto-corrected. <laughs> auto Dior Sausage, the new Trevor Westford fragrance line. Gotta love it, man. Mm. Ah. Mm. Whoa. It smells a little different than it did. Really? I'm gonna need another whiff at that. Gosh, there's so many scents right now just floating around. My nose is gonna be absolutely obliterated by the end of this video. Okay. Go back up. What did I give Armani? You gave Armani. They were OG. You gave it a seven. All right. I'm gonna give this. Mm, I'm gonna give it a nine. I bought this fragrance with him. Shout out to Kenny Fragrance. And for some reason, my childhood hero is watching this video. Dillard's and Spartanburg. <laughs> but it's a really good fragrance every day. Very citrusy. You can wear it summer, winter, fall, spring. Like, I'm going to wear this in astronomy probably tomorrow. I have it on right now, and I can still smell it from... back-to-back -back days. Yeah. I can Old. still smell it from this morning. So, I don't know. What do you get? What do you give it? I give it a nine as well. Nine? It's very solid uh, scent. Yeah. I don't like it as much as I remember liking it before. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll go seven and a half. Okay. It's seven slightly and better than Armani. Not bad. Maybe. Next one. Brand new. Gucci Guilty. I've not used much of this, um, but I've had it for a really long time. Andrew, your scale is like the chip scale. So it's like whatever we do, just divide in half. Oh, really yeah. good. <laughs> All right. Gucci. Interesting. I've not smelled this one in several years. It's very. It's coming. It's coming back to me now. Ethan, talk to us. What are you? That one's more mellow. I would say a little bit more mellow. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't wear it all the time though. Yeah. So, it's on the heavier side. Yeah. It's not like light. I don't think you'd pull that off like very hot weather no. personally, but. A nice winter up. <sighs> Go ice skating. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go seven. It doesn't wow me, but it's it's pretty solid. What I'll do you go six? Six. A bit lower. I'll go six as well. Okay. It's just past the I like it threshold. Okay. 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 Um, but, uh, moving right along here, so we have still a lot of fragrances to get to. Jimmy Choo. Unfortunately, I have a lot of bad memories associated with this fragrance. Um, they'll probably hear about it after the video, but <laughs> it's not a bad scent. I've just wore the absolute crud out of it. I had a bigger bottle of this at home that's just completely gone. So a loving scent turned bad. Yeah, you could say that. Exactly. That was very poetically said. Not really, but we'll go with this. This is, this is an older scent. I've had it for many, many years. Like I said, haven't worn it in a couple years. I was like a little munchkin probably the last time that I put this on my neck. This is like a basic cologne. Yeah. yeah. If you just asked me like what cologne smells like, it smells like this. Yeah. This is why I'm ranking it five. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I'll give it a five as well. No, that's good. <laughs> it's it a, was very average. Yeah. I like if this. If I'm wearing cologne, I want to stand out a little bit. You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't need to smell like... A lot of people hate Jimmy Choo though. It's not a very popular brand. Um, sorry to any Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo fans out there. No, I like this. Um... We'll go seven again. Okay. Wow. Also, I drop almost, down in the I comments almost, what fragrance y'all use, because I'm curious to see if we have any, like, I don't know. I, I'll just see how y'all are rolling. Body spray enthusiasts. Oh, love. <laughs> 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 All right, this next one, Ethan Gephardt himself sprayed on this morning. So, just oh, want to let yeah. the world know that. Yeah, you sprayed oh. it on me. I, I sprayed it on me. I got to get... We can just barely smell it after... 14 hours that that's pretty good performance like if i spray on cologne i want to be like i want to i want it to smell all day um now this one i feel like smelled different today than it does on the card yeah it does smell differently on skin than it does on paper and it smells differently like once it settles down them but we're just basing it off the opening i guess if you want to really get terminal mm. that's pretty good i like that really 
Did we have this one? No. Uh, okay. This is new. This is new. I brought this one. I like this. Yeah. I got a little too close to it at first. Okay. And hit that rubbing alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit back. That's good. Yeah. I like that. What was that? What was that? Uh, chemical that we. Ambroxan. Ambroxan. Probably got some Ambroxan. I give it a six. Don't act like you don't know that. Six. Yeah. What do you get? I give it an eight. I'm eight as well. Eight. That's, Whoa. That's my favorite. It's a very solid. Mont, Mont Blanc Legend. Wow. That's an under. Anyway. Also, let, them, uh, let them learn the secrets. Mont Blanc Explorer. Smells like Creed Aventus. Yep. It's a cheaper version if you don't want to drop 400 bucks. <laughs> this is my Bath and Body Works. But if you do, <laughs> this is going in my Hall of Fame. I used to wear it. Bath and Body Works. All the time when I was a cheapo back in the day. Oh all the gosh. time this fragrance was warm. Oh, yeah. This is it's an everyday scent. scent. You're not going to make anybody mad. You're Warm. just going to smell cool and cash. And that's how I was rocking that's back That's honestly in. not terrible. It's, it's, a, it's discontinued, so I'm trying to like, you know. I don't know. I have two Bath and Body Works fragrances, and they have to wow me. But all right. I'm not sure how much the last one of the video is gonna. I have wow. a feeling we're all gonna say the same thing on this one. I don't know. Really? Why. Yeah. I give it a six. I'm six as well. <laughs> six. Mm, yeah, I'll go six as well. Again, yeah. it just passed. I like it. Yeah. It's a solid, it's very a comfortable fragrance. Yeah. But yeah. That's a great. Anyways, coming up next, number ten. Man, I went to a concert. Fun fact. <laughs> I went to a concert last week, saw my man, my boy Barry Manilow, and I wore this fragrance. And it was really nice. And it's one of my favorites in the entire collection. Like, there's like two or three that I hold like above regard to everything else. And in my humble opinion, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's nice. It We're is gonna get the feedback on this one. This one's a highly debated topic. It is. Happy Hall. It's, it's controversial. <laughs> it's loud. It's loud. It's obnoxious. It's controversial. It's perfume. <laughs> it's very fruity. That's another thing. It's extremely fruity. Probably the fruitiest scent I own. Fruity? No. It smells like a cigar to me. <laughs> really? It's got a little bit of smokiness tank yeah, in it, fruit, but... The tobacco fruit. A 9.5 <laughs> for me. Best one I've smoked. What? what? No. I love it. I love it. It's great. It's a four. That's all I was going to say. Four for me, too. Well, number 10 has it's no shot of winning. The... Okay, threshold. If Canyon James is watching this video, I need, I need him to defend me. He loves it. Um, coming up next, another one of my favorites, Paco Rabanne Invictus Platinum. This is a brand new, Paco Rabanne's like a very famous line, but they recently just dropped I think, the platinum version of this. I think we need to put that bottle up to the camera. If we were ranking the bottles for perfume, yeah. that's, that's top three. Come on, way. come on now, the trophy. I wear this one every day sometimes too, when I'm really feeling like I want to make a statement for people. Um, it's a nice scent. It's a, it is a very nice, Fruity, but it's got different stuff in it. It's a nice scent, though. Mmm. Oh gosh. Eight point five. I was actually gonna. <laughs> I was about to say I'm gonna throw my first point five in there. Eight point five. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Nine's got to be something I love, and mm -hmm. I don't love enough to get it. Man. 9.5. That one was really, really good. 9.5. Wow. Same yeah. as the number 10. I didn't. I was on the threshold of a 10, but I couldn't. But we're, I didn't realize this. But alphabetically, we got three, arguably my three favorite fragrances back to back to back, and it makes me so so happy to say that. So if we don't have a 10 in here, something's wrong. We got a 9.5. I think we're fine. Man. I think we got two. We got two 9.5s. That one's around. actually really good. If you want the definition of soapy clean, Prada Luna Rosa Sport is right. That is it. It's soapy clean. Like you're gonna smell clean and fresh, and it's it's a Friday scent, as we it's say. It's very on, fresh. We call it on Happy Hall. It's a Friday, like kicking off the weekend, party clubbing. I don't know. I hope people watch this video. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, this is this is good stuff. I'm giving up my first 10 in the video. Prada Luna Rosa Sport. I love it. It's, it's, I'm about to. So tell me life. why I should bring, bump mine up because I was going to say 9.5. Tell me why I should bump it up to a 10. Okay. A big thing for me is the uniqueness. Out of, I've smelled probably 100 fragrances in the last month and nothing smells like that just due to the freshness, the versatility. You can be loud with it if you want, but you can also be quiet, and more mellow. Like it's just very, I don't know. You'd wear it probably literally anytime and smell good. That's okay. all I got. What do you got, Ethan? Sounds good to me. 10? Yep. You Andrew? 8.5. 8.5, okay. Which is good for the Andrew you know, scale. No, 8, 8. Take it down. Take oh, it down to an 8. Okay. 
Uh, Polo Red. Shout out to the Polo Boys. He has Polo. Polo, Polo, Polo Blue, baby. Parfum. This is just Polo Red. Eau de Toilette, I suppose. I wore this the other day, actually. It's not crazy bad. It's not crazy good. You said it was the next three were some of your top all No, 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 yeah, yeah. Pro it ten. ended with Prada. Oh, okay, it was gotcha. Number 10, Paco and Prada were like boom, boom, boom. Gotcha, okay. <laughs> yeah. This is loud after smelling Prada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's actually facts. We're gonna go four here. Four? Yeah. I'm gonna go four as well. Nothing crazy. I'm five, I take it or leave it. I don't dislike it. Okay, okay, okay. As we're winding out the video, one of my most recent purchases, Smoked Old Fashioned. I already know where this is gonna go. So I don't really have, I don't really have too much expectations, I suppose. Uh, oh, 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 I missed like twice. <laughs> so okay, mm. you can waste this. Mm. <laughs> this smells like the beach and a mustache. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> beach or a smoke room. I mean, it is smoked old fashioned. Oh, mm. no. Three. I'm gonna go solid six on that one. Two. I don't <laughs> want this. Okay. It's okay, waste those sprays. Next one, maybe a diamond in the rough for Saatchi Poro Man. My brother wears this as his daily scent. Ooh. Definitely it's like a summertime yeah. scent to me. Andrew's a big ladies man, so. Yeah, so it's gotta be good. Mmm, <laughs> man, that is underrated. Very underrated. Your brother wears this every day? Yeah, everyday scent. <laughs> Wear it to school. You had it on two days ago, keep in mind. Oh, this is a head. I yeah. This one on? Yeah, this like is the one this. you wore the other day. You're like, man, I like this one. Yeah, this is the one. This is good. Yeah. This is the type of this way. is the type of cologne I like. Yeah. That's why I think that's why I like Jimmy Choo. I like that stereotypical it, cologne. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna go eight point five. That is a very solid one. Yeah, I'm gonna eight. Eight. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna give it an uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, eight point five, eight eight. That might be the closest we've had all time. Oh no, we had the three sixes. We had the three sixes. Yeah. All right, everybody's favorite villain, Pete and Pedro. The reason it's called villain. This is where y'all get to like literally. You know, I'm getting up for this one because I don't want this to be spread up far away. Yeah, yeah. We don't want it anywhere near us. <laughs> the atomizer on this is booty. Like, oh, something else about it is booty. All right, yeah. <laughs> here we go, baby. Here we go. Oh, it's just as good as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> we got a winner! Not really. Can I rate it 11? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but since I can't... I no, have that's against the rules. Since I can't rank it 11, I'll rank it a 2. Okay. Zero. Wow. If someone wears that, I instantly dislike them at first. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> Yikes. I'm gonna go 7. I don't think... Oh my what? god. It's no, different. No, it's different. No. Nothing else, no nothing else smells like that. Nothing else smells like sewage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Closing out, unwind. This is a random one I got for Christmas like four years ago. Haven't sprayed, haven't worn it since, TBH. Actually, I, I remember wearing this last year, like, specific, this is a Tuesday, Thursday scent. Tuesday, Thursday. No, no, just hear me out. I, I don't know if Ethan's catching on. Really mossy, really green. Whoa. I don't know what we're saying. <laughs> that, that smells smell like a woods. Yeah, it's like Tuesday, Thursday classes. Pro I don't know. It gives me that vibe. Like, I like I Tuesday, Thursday classes, though. I don't like the scent. I'm giving uh, it a four. It smells like you pulled a leaf off a tree and you smell the scent <laughs> right where it broke off. I'm going to give it a six. You give it a four? Yeah. It smells like a leaf. What do you give it? <laughs> Three. All right. Final one. One of the best for last. Yves Saint Laurent, YSL. This was actually voted the best scent on my, like all the dudes on my hall voted this the best. Not y'all, obviously, but yeah, like have, Justin. Have Colton. we smelled this one? Yeah. Have, yeah, yeah, Justin, Colton, Nick, Josh, they all. I love oh, YSL. Scent. I love YSL. It's a great one. Everyday scent, perhaps, if you dial down the sprays. But. That's clean. I'm gonna yeah. go nine here. I'm gonna go nine as well. I think it's in that upper echelon tier. What do you give it? Andrew's about to pull it right on down. I wanna hit nine as well, but I don't think I can. 8.5 8 again. Okay. That's now good I will average them out really quick. It shouldn't take me very long because there's very few that all three I of us got you. Agree on. Oh, you're gonna average it out. Talk to them. Okay. 
All right. Uh, one um, tank video. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> love it. But overall, um, we have a very solid collection. To anybody with starting a fragrance collection out there, don't do this. Don't get this egregious about it. Um, I definitely have a lot, but a lot of versatility, a lot of options. I can never get bored. Um, what do you think, Hannah? What do you think? Um, if you're looking to start your own collection, go to uh, the mall in Spartanburg. Yep, go Westgate Dillard's. Mall, Dillard's. Boy, Kenny, Kenny is Fragrance. Like a genius. Dude, he is so knowledgeable. He's like a theologian when it comes to fragrances. And I'm, I'm trying to be like him. Like, he's like Tom Brady, and I'm Brock Purdy. I'm just starting out in the league. <laughs> I'm trying to learn more and learn the ropes of this beautiful hobby or obsession, as people might call it. But got a lot of really good ones. I don't know what's going to win. Um, I don't know. I don't know what my personal – I guess I would say – I mean, if we're going like, if we have a tie, we're gonna have to smell off. But I don't know. What would you say? Like some of your personal favorites are, if it's just you. Um, the Invictus was good. Yeah. Uh, YSL is good. Um, I, I didn't rank Dior high, but I know I like it. Dior like, is just, so, uh, it's so long lasting too. Embroxen is a chemical that makes a fragrance last longer, and that's all this is. It's just Embroxen in a bottle. Fun oh. fact. Kenny fragrance. Honestly, we started great with Armani. Armani's a very solid one. Prada surprised me. Prada has to be. Gosh, that that's that's really honestly Prada buying Prada over winter break is kind of what kicked off this whole fragrance thing for me. Is getting that specific fragrance. Oh, um. Gosh. Avoid this at all costs. This is terrible. I mean, it is what you make it out to be. I wish this one was more nationally accepted. It's just, it's elegant. You're not going to wear this a lot. Like if I went to Ruth Chris, I would think about wearing this. Or if I was going to like, I don't know. I don't know about pace leadership. I feel like that's too, I don't know. And no, I don't know. But anyway, as we're awaiting the final results, does it look like we have any ties? Are you surprised? average? We don't have any ties. I'm, I'm going to do bottom three and top three. This is my so. surprise. Jimmy Choo. Very nice. Never heard of that before. I liked it. Okay. I don't know. I think Carolina's about to beat Syracuse in basketball. Don't read notifications when we're filming. Sorry. You like Jimmy Choo? I did like Jimmy Choo. It was nice. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very basic. Um, if there's any that you think we need to add to our collection, let us know. I mean. Oh, Mont Blanc was good, too. Mont Blanc was a surpriser. Paul, one of our former RAs. You can't really smell out of this bottle. I don't. No. No. It's but it's a cap. Yeah, it's a good one, though. Um, ooh, where's this Versace? This Versace is. Like once it, once it gets warm outside, I'm be rocking this thing probably every day. Like this is gonna be a, this. You can't smell like your brother. Ah, I mean, he. We alternate. We alternate. I gave him a little tester bottle of Paco Rabanne. I might wear smoked old fashioned tomorrow. Just to, don't wear smoked Just to old frustrate fashion. some people, I suppose. How's the results come in? We yeah. do have one tie for second place. Second, Ooh. as long as it's not for first, unless. Yeah. First is undisputed. Really? Cool. Is it going to be surprise some people? Uh, I don't think so, based on our reactions. Ah, did I scrape on your toe? Yeah, <laughs> my toe is now bleeding. Anyway. Mm. Way to keep it together for this video. Thanks, it's little bear. Uh, so you said it's not going to surprise, or it is going to surprise? I don't think so. I don't okay. think it's surprise. Okay, okay, okay. Like okay. We're video. all huge fans of this. Like it, please like join it, our Trevor giveaway. Trevor just busted his toe for y'all. Yes, my toe is literally <laughs> bleeding under my sock. I can feel it right now. It's not, it's not in good shaping, but... Okay, do we want to announce this? Bottom, bottom three. three. Bottom first. three. Bottom three hit Okay, so... Let's bring him out. Uh, <laughs> sort of everywhere. So... Oh, I was going to do third worst, second That's worst. That's fine. We're just assuming. We already know, we already know who it is. Know. Okay. It's so, for third worst, we have Polo Red coming in number oh, one. Okay. That's, that's we me. all pretty much consistently had the same. Trevor and I gave it a yeah. four. Andrew gave it a five. One that he was, one of the few that he was higher. It's pretty mid, were. but, it's, but it's, it's not bad. Yeah, not awful. He's a Polo it's, guy. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Second worst. Second worst, we have smoked old fashioned. Garbage. As Ouch, that hurts. It's sort of here. carried by Trevor having a six for it, so we already know which one's Should have been worse than that. We already know which one's last. Did Trevor give me a seven? seven. Bottom he gave three. it a seven. Absolutely no reason. He gave it a seven because it was a gift. I mean, yes, it was a gift, but it's. I just. I like uniqueness in a fragrance. Maybe the Paco person Rabanne. watching this gave it to them, and Terrible. he's just trying to make sure that. I know he loves. Love. I know Ethan Norfleet loves the scent. Wow, don't call him out. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, sorry. 
I don't we know. love this scent. Everyone else hates it. Yeah. So, but All right, okay. top we'll three best. It. Just slide them because me and Andrew are totally oblivious. I right have now. no clue, honestly. I have a feeling. I think Paco's going to be up there. Why is The thing Paco's is, I can't. Under, I, I, I need you to grab the ball. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. We got okay. a good old sausage coming in, number three. Number three. Dior, Dior Sauvage. Oh, Let's go. I, I didn't think it'd make it. How do we feel about oh. that? I, I'm, oh, there are three cents. It might be a little high, deal. but I think for practicality and versatility and projectiveness, which is three of the most important factors, it's right. There's a lot of, with the combined score, overall 25. Yeah. Andrew 7.5 bumps it up to third, just barely by a half point over wow. like three other ones. Wow. Trevor and I gave it a nine. Andrew okay, a okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, we got two tied for three. second place, and I want you guys to see if you can get one of them combined. Tied for, Two tied for second. second. Um, Paco. Paco, yeah. And Armani. Yeah. You got Paco and YSL. Paco tied and for YSL. Second. Oh shoot! That may, does Armani not make the top three? Armani's oh, good. Oh. That's proud of us. A little Paco. bit of an upset. But so technically, Dior would be like right here, probably. I mean, if no, we're, those, those are together. It's yeah. A little so and then number so, one. Well, by the style, we had it very close together. Nine nine. Andrew had an eight point five. Good. I think I know what's going to win. Number one. Number one. Two somewhere. It's gonna be Prada. It has to be Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Absolutely, Prada. Twenty eight out of thirty. Ah. Oh. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> that was really important. I don't know what just happened. Uh, if y'all heard it, great. But if not, Carla Luna. Woo! That's all right. right. Very We're... underrated bottle as well. Yeah. I'm big into the bottle. What we all give it? Uh, Trevor and I gave it a 10. Yeah. Maybe the only two 10s thrown out there. Yeah. yeah. And then you gave it an 8, which is high on the Andrew scale. Very high on the Andrew scale. Man. I think... I'm... 8.5 mm. for here was the only thing I thought higher. Maybe that, I don't know. Yeah, I'm surprised Armani didn't make it. But Armani deserves a spot. I think that's probably number five if we were to like go through and break Armani is Armani's 0.5 under. Um, uh, okay, 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 yeah, okay, so okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Just well, barely missed Andrew's it. honorable mentions. Yeah. Armani, what is that? I can't even see the name. Armani Code, just on the toilet. Mont Blanc. Okay, interesting. But Prada, Lunaris Sport, the dub. Um, yeah. I'm very happy with that. That's probably my favorite, if not one of them. So, you call it the best fragrance you have. So, yeah, it's just it's a Friday scent. So, that's me all for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, like the video. Obviously, we entered a giveaway. But if you want to see more individual fragrance reviews, some if one person comments, I'll do it. Low key, because I enjoyed this video very, very much. I hope they did. I hope you guys did. And uh, y'all got anything else to say? Closing thoughts. No, it's a long video. <laughs> it is a long video. If you Thanks stay for watching, for, <laughs> yeah. for my mom and my grandma and anybody like my family that stayed, thank you guys. I love you all. But that's me all. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hopefully, be entered in the giveaway. Uh, we're on the road to 5K subs. Subscribe. Be safe. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Prada. God bless.